What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's quick video I just want to present a new beta that I created for the Yalu Dark that aims to fix the SSH connection issue. I'm going to show you exactly the bug that is going to be fixed and I'm going to show you how to fix it if you have it on your device running Yalu Dark. Now before we get started in this video I just like to point out this is not an update to the original Yalu. The original Yalu is still at beta 7. It's an update to my fork that is available on uh, GitHub and therefore it targets targets only the users of it. So going ahead in here in IPA build, you can see that there is the B9 in here and the B9 is only to fix the um, SSH connection. Let me show you what the bug is because it's a quite, quite important bug, although SSH is not very important, it will be if you have problems with your jailbreak and therefore has to be fixed. So if I try to run a connection, let me try to do that, I'm going to start a new tunnel connection using iPhone tunnel. And this is the application you can use in order to, to get SSH connection over USB. And I'm going to say SSH root. It's going to say this, connection closed by remote host, SSH exchange identification. This is the problem the beta 8 has. For some reason, it doesn't allow connecting via USB. And um, this IPA, this new IPA that I have created of the beta 9 fixes that connection issue so that you can have SSH again. Let me install it and show you how you can uh, fix the issue yourself. Okay, I have successfully installed the uh, new version of Yaldo Dark using CD Impactor. Let's go to the device and let me show you how you can fix the issue because it involves removing a couple of files. Alrighty, so now I'm on the uh, device, as you can see in here, I'm already jailbroken with the previous version of Yalu Dark, but it doesn't have that SSH connection. So you have to install uh, FileZa and you're going to go in FileZa and remove the installed.yalu.x. To do that, you need to navigate here to root, scroll, and you're going to have um, the Yalu files. I'm going to remove both of them. You will only have one, installed.yalu.x. And um, what this essentially does is going to reinstall all the jailbreak related files. This is somehow good as it refreshes the file, but you're going to have a Cydia update after that. All right, so as you can see, the device has been restarted and now I'm jailbroken with the newest version of Yalu Dark, the Yalu Dark Beta 9. But as you can see, all my tweaks have been removed and that is normal because I removed that Yalu installed file and everything has been uh, reinstalled, for example, Cydia and so on. Now, uh, you should keep that in mind. Now, when you open Cydia, it's going to tell you something about an update. Let it do that. And if you don't want to do this, I mean, if you don't want to lose all, all your tweaks just to reinstall the uh, SSH module, you can download the drop beer file. You need to click return here and click, uh, sorry, you should have updated that. Click upgrade, confirm. And um, you can download the file, the drop beer file from the description down below and put it in the uh, path that I am uh, actually mentioning in the description and you're going to be able to use beta 8 and have the fix this one is an automated fix but the only caveat is that it's going to remove the um the tweaks that isn't necessarily a problem you can reinstall the tweaks but it's going to reinstall everything related to the jailbreak from the factory so it means you're going to get a much more stable jailbreak but anyways you can still use the beta 8 with the manual fix if you don't want to to actually lose your uh, jailbreak tweaks so as I said, CDA is going to update uh, itself and I'm going to be back when it finishes. Alright, so my device has installed all the CDA updates after um, running again the uh, Yalu. And now I can start the uh, application. It's called iPhone Tunnel. You can download it from the description and it's the application you need to use on a Mac if you want to create an SSH connection via USB with Yalu. Okay. So I'm going to open the terminal now. In fact, I'm not going to open it because the um, tunnel has the option. And I'm going to go to tools, SSH root. It's going to do this. I'm going to open the terminal now. It says the um, uh, authenticity of the host is whatever. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. In fact, let me do this. I'm going to close this and make it like this. Okay. So. Again, the command, it says this, we're going to write yes, and we're finally uh, being prompted for the password, alpine or A-L-P-I-N-E. And as you can see, we're now in. So it's now working properly. 
So uh, yeah, this is actually it guys. I really hope this fix will uh, will help you and um, you can download the beta 9 from the description down below. As I said, if you want to check out the source code, the source code of this modified version of Yalu is always available on my uh, GitHub and you can download it from here as well. You can see in here, go ahead and you have all the source code so that you can play with it and so on. The IPA is available in the IPA build folder and uh, till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.